Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be using base 10 blocks to add. Let's remind ourselves what each of the base 10 blocks represents. A cube represents just one, it represents one individual number. So for example, if I had four cubes, that just equals four. The other base 10 block we're going to be looking at is called the long or a 10. A long is made up of 10 individual cubes. Therefore, a long or a 10 equals 10. If I had three longs or three tens, that would be equal to 30. We can count by tens when we're adding these up. 10, 20, 30. Let's use this information to help us complete the worksheet. Let's read the directions and get started right away. Count longs and cubes in each number sentence. How many tens and ones are there in total? Check the correct answer. When we're counting tens and ones, first, I always like to start with the ones because when we're adding normally, we always start with the place furthest to the right. So first, let's count the individual cubes. On the first side of the equation, see one, two, three cubes. On the right side of the equation, I see one, two, three, four cubes. So if I want to count them up in total, I could add three plus four. I could also just count the cubes all together to find the total. First, let's count the cubes and then we'll add them up to see. I'm counting in total, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think there are seven cubes or seven ones in total. But let's just add using the counting up strategy. Three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven ones in total. Now let's count the tens. On the left side of the equation, I see two tens. On the right side of the equation, I see one ten. I remember we can count by tens to find out the total. So if I were to count all the tens, 10, 20, 30, that shows me that there are three tens. And we could add 20, represented by these two tens, plus 10, represented by this one ten, to give us a total of 30. We could add 30 plus seven to find the total. But these answer choices aren't in regular numbers. We want to count the tens and ones in total. We already know that there are seven ones, so let's count the tens to find out how many there are. I see one, two, and three tens, giving us a total of three tens and seven ones. The first answer choice is correct. Let's take a look at the next example. Let's start by counting the ones in the second example. Let's count them all together right from the start. On the left side of the equation, I just see one cube. So let's continue counting on the right side of the equation. Let's continue counting on the right side of the equation. So we have one, two, three, four, five cubes or five ones. Let's keep that in the back of our minds. Now, let's do the same with the tens. Let's count them all together, starting with the left side. We have one, two, three, four, five tens. So now I'm left with five tens and five ones. That is our third answer choice, making the third answer, making the third answer choice correct. In our final example, again, we're gonna start by counting the ones. Let's count them all together, so that way we know what the total of ones are. Let's start by counting the cubes on the left side of the equation. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I count nine ones in total. Now, let's continue by counting the tens all together. I have one 10 on the left side, and we'll continue counting on the right side. One, two, three, four, five. I have five tens, making our total 
five tens, and nine ones are first answer choice. Remember, boys and girls, that the cubes represent ones or one number, and the longs or tens represent ten or ten cubes altogether. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.